Taisha, and today I'm going to be cooking with my new Instapot. I got this Instapot a little while ago. It is heavy as you can see, but um, I decided to go ahead and step my game up, and uh, I went ahead and got rid of my crock pots. So I've heard nothing but great things about the Instapot. I heard that you can make yogurt with it. You can cook dried beans in a fraction of the time it usually takes to cook in a crock pot or on stove top. You can do so much, like even make cakes in this crock, uh, Instapot. You can also um, boil eggs, cook eggs, do a little bit of everything. So today, I am going to make turkey wings. This recipe is from Marvin Williams. And if you do not follow him or own his cookbook, you are missing out. I came across his recipe for his uh, special baked chicken. However, at that time I had turkey wings on hand and I went ahead and put them in the crock pot overnight. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, Becky. Like, yeah. This was not like uh, Resbucia and Norbit's turkey. <laughs> These turkey wings were so good. When I was in my mode of being a vegetarian slash vegan, I used to dream about these turkey wings. So I'm going to show you how I make them using the Instant Pot. So here's what you would need. with some soapy water rinse it off so what I'm gonna do first is add the seasoning so as I said it was two packs of the ranch dry dressing mix so you have two packs of that and let me tell you this is so this recipe is so good this seasoning, this gravy mix that you put on your turkey wings, man, 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 man. You gonna, once it starts cooking real good, you're going to smell it all through the house, and you're going to be dreaming about it. You're going to get up in the middle of the night, get something to eat, just be craving. So here's the brown gravy, gravy mix. I just put in the Italian. So two packs of the brown gravy. And this portion here, I know he gave a measurement for how much uh, crushed red pepper he used, but you can pretty much just go um, to your own liking. If you don't, don't like your food spicy, I wouldn't put a lot. However, if you don't mind a little bit of heat, you know, go ahead and add. You don't have to add it all right now. You can add it as it's cooking and taste it when it's close, it's close to being finished and then add some more. So... Yeah, I'm going to give it about 15 more shakes. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, uh, next 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, uh, hit it, do it, uh, uh. <laughs> okay, let me stop. All right, that's, I, think, I think we got it. And I can always add more later. Use distilled water for cooking. So I'm going to go ahead and add, I believe my measurement would be like... Three cups of water. I think that's about a good three cups. Want to whisk everything together, but you don't want it clumps at the bottom. Whisk it, whisk it all up, whisk it all up. All right, whisk it, all right. Hands are washed, okay? So I'm gonna add one more pack because I had two extra turkey wings in the pack. I was only expecting four. So I guess a good ratio to kind of go by or think of it as like a pack per wing because I like them to be flavorful. And we tell you this, this gravy mix, this portion, these portions, they get down. I never had a turkey wing that tastes like this. 
I remember eating the turkey legs at Bush Gardens and stuff. Those things are so nasty and dry. It's like, like, like eating a Popeye's biscuit with nothing to drink. So I'm gonna add some more water. Now I won't be able to whisk um, this portion of the mix together, but it's okay. So yeah, that's about enough. And I'm going to go ahead and put some crushed red pepper flakes, add a little bit more. Move all my little staging decorations around. How y'all like that? I'm becoming a true YouTuber and I'm like, I'm setting my scene up and putting decorations out. How y'all like that? Give me a thumbs up if y'all like that. I'm coming around as a YouTuber, okay? I'm going to go ahead and seal. Hey. Okay, let me stop. Let's check this out. All right, so we got off. We have soup, broth, meat, stew, cake, egg, saute, rice, multigrain, porridge, steamed, slow cook. I think I want to turn this on to meat stew. It says it's going to cook for 35 minutes and it'll be done. Yeah. So, yeah, I had to adjust that. There was no way in hell that them turkey wings was going to be done in no 35 minutes. So, I went ahead and I set this for meat and I put it on for, um, I put it on for an hour and, no, I actually put it in for two hours, 120 minutes. So, yeah, it's going to be on meat. This is going to cook because ain't nobody about that sick life. And, all right, it is kind of cooking now. It's only been about uh, five minutes, so yeah, it's doing a little something in here. All right, let me let it do what it do. Yes, do what it do. All right, I don't know how I'm gonna hold this open and do this, but yeah, we're gonna go. I'm gonna go to Fahrenheit. So let's get the temperature of this pumpkin. 69, 70 degrees. All right, so let's see how how much the steam is. And the steam is like in the hundreds. All right, so I'm gonna open this up and we're gonna see how hot this is on the inside. Whoa, you see that? So, including the first uh, 35 minutes it was on, then here is 20. So let's go ahead and see how much this is. So I'm not getting it reflecting off the sides. It's rising. Like Taisha, why are you zapping your food with a laser? Make sure it all gets into the, the um the gravy and the pieces at the bottom rotate. Uh oh. But this turkey wings look good, baby. Yes. Yeah, these are the ones at the bottom. And this already just fall off the bone. OMG. Yeah, you see that already. So we're gonna get these ones that were up top, get those in here to cook. Like, OMG. Lock the safe. So I love this uh, top because it sounds like you're opening and closing a safe. You hear that? Like this is closed, this is open. And let me tell you, another use that they don't advertise the Instant Pot for is you can actually burn off your fingerprints right here. So if you're trying to hide out from the law, touch this metal part with your fingers and you will straight lose your entire fingerprint like I did, okay? So yeah, that's one thing they do not advertise. So Instant Pot, you can cook food, um, cook food in half the time, do what you need to do, but also burn off your fingerprints to hide out from the law, okay? So here we go. We're going to look in here and see what these turkey wings looking like. Here we go. Yes, they've only been in here. This has been an hour and 30, I'll say 34 minutes. Make sure that you cook your food to the appropriate temperature. So I'm using my laser thermometer here. And in here, it's almost 200 degrees. So you want to make sure that with poultry, when you're cooking poultry, it has a internal temperature of, I think it's, oh, look at that fall off the bone. You see that? <laughs> it used to take me over eight hours 
to cook turkey wings and that was just four in my regular crock pot but I have six in here and it's been an hour and 30 minutes a little over an hour and 30 minutes and you see that fall off the bone like damn <laughs> Damn. So here we go. We're going to go ahead and make sure I'm going to show you that these are cooked all the way. That they just fell off the bone. Like you would have thought I had them in the crock pot all day. Is what I used to do. And I'll tell you a little bit about the recipe I used in just a second. So go ahead and bring that here. Like I said, with poultry, I believe the internal temperature is 145. Oh. The internal temperature is 172, so these are thoroughly cooked. And like I was saying before, with the people being scared to cook turkey because of the salmonella and stuff like that, it comes from people not properly handling raw meat as they're doing cross-contamination throughout their kitchen and stuff like that. Somebody had laughed at me when I did my air fryer video because I was handling my, my raw chicken with gloves on because I was handling my camera, my lighting, and moving around, and I did not want to do that cross-contamination. So it's very, very important to A, practice proper handling and sanitation when you're handling raw meat and other kind of foods but also to cook your food to the appropriate temperature as you can see this is actually off i'm gonna go ahead and unplug this because they're done it's been over an hour and 30 minutes for these turkey wings and like i said you would have thought i cooked these for all day in a crock pot but no the instant pot done deal with it do it done saved me so much cooking time you see that see that fall off the bone i'm sorry i wouldn't even focus in, in the pot but fall off the bone oh my gosh so yeah i will not be eating fast food or nothing like that this whole week my, my i'm gonna have a meal prep and yeah i'm gonna have, have my turkey wings so yes this is it you see that it fell right off the bone so i highly highly recommend y'all go ahead and get you an instant pot i'm no longer using my crock pot i threw it in the garbage i didn't want it <laughs> and i got an instant pot I, I left a link in the description so that you can go ahead and purchase yours or so yeah let me know if y'all have an instant pot what are some of the things y'all like to cook in your instant pot share this video and yeah just don't be scared to cook turkey all right thank you y'all for watching i hope y'all have a great night and a great week and yeah get you an instant pot the link is in the description for this video okay and i will see y'all later